हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम अगेन हार्ट इज एन अमेजिंग रेस्टलेस ऑर्गन ऑफ अवर बॉडी ऑल दो इट्स पंपिंग द ब्लड ऑल ओवर द बॉडी इट नीड्स इट्स ओन ब्लड सप्लाई टू सर्वाइव समटाइम्स दिस सर्वाइवल कैन बी ए डेंजर एंड लीड टू द माओकार्डियल इन्फॉक्शन कॉमनली नाउन एज द हार्ट अटैक इन दिस वीडियो लेट स्टडी अबाउट द ब्लड सप्लाई ऑफ द हार्ट the heart is supplied by the coronary arteries so it's commonly known as the coronary circulation there are two main coronary arteries the right coronary artery and the left coronary artery they arise from the coronary sinuses immediately above the aortic orifice the wall of ascending aorta bulges to form aortic sinuses There are three aortic sinuses anterior left posterior and right posterior the right coronary artery arises from the anterior aortic sinus and left coronary artery arises from the left posterior aortic sinus variations occur occasionally in their origin and pattern of distribution Each coronary artery is the main supply to the same side atrium and ventricle but also supplies the opposite side chambers to some extent the vessels of the venous system don't have the names that correspond to the arteries like brain right coronary artery arises from the anterior aortic sinus and runs in between right auricle and infundibulum of right ventricle the right auricle is a prolongation of right atrium and this narrowing part is known as the infundibulum or corners of right ventricle it runs downwards in the atrioventricular groove which is in between the right atrium and right ventricle it gives branches to both atrium and ventricle it gives the right coronary artery which is one of the highest branches it runs upwards and medially on the front of the infundibulum of right ventricle it frequently anastomoses with a similar branch from the left coronary artery around the origin of pulmonary trunk a synodal artery is another branch which passes back between right auricle and the aorta it forms a vascular ring around the termination of superior vena cava it supplies the sa node in about 60 percentage of hearts the right coronary artery gives some branches to the right atrium and right ventricle on the anterior surface of heart right marginal artery is a large branch among them the branch is given at the sharp inferior border it passes obliquely to the left along the inferior border over the front of the ventricle then the right coronary artery turns backwards at the inferior border of the heart it runs posteriorly on the diaphragmatic surface it gives av nodal artery and runs as posterior interventricular artery or posterior descending artery at this point a small branch is given which anastomoses with the circumflex artery from the left coronary artery the posterior interventricular artery runs in the interventricular groove towards the apex of the heart the left coronary artery arises from the left posterior aortic sinus it runs behind the pulmonary trunk to emerge between left auricle and the infundibulum of right ventricle it divides into its two terminal branches after this short course the circumflex artery and the anterior interventricular artery 
the circumflex artery gives off the left marginal artery which runs along the left margin of the heart then the circumflex artery runs around the left margin to run in the atrioventricular groove in the back of the heart it anastomoses with a similar branch from the right coronary artery in about 40% of the hearts the sa nodal artery is given by the circumflex artery the anterior interventricular artery runs down in the anterior interventricular groove and anastomoses with the posterior interventricular artery under the apex of the heart is the cardiac vessel which is most often affected by disease the anterior interventricular artery gives the left coronary artery it anastomoses with the right coronary artery the anterior interventricular artery gives off several left ventricular branches the diagonal branch is the largest it ends by trifurcation it may arise separately from the left coronary trunk the veins of the heart are the coronary sinus and its five tributaries the coronary sinus is a wide vessel it lies in the posterior part of the atrioventricular groove it's covered by a thin layer of myocardium it opens at its right end into the posterior wall of the right atrium to the left of the inferior vena cava opening the first tributary is the great cardiac vein it accompanies the anterior interventricular artery and the circumflex artery it enters the left end of the coronary sinus it receives number of left ventricular tributaries in its course the second one is the middle cardiac vein it accompanies the posterior interventricular artery and opens near the termination of the coronary sinus the third one is small cardiac vein it opens into the coronary sinus near its atrial end the fourth one is posterior vein of left ventricle it joins the coronary sinus to the left of the middle cardiac vein the fifth one is the oblique vein of left atrium it's a small vessel it runs downwards to open into the coronary sinus near its left end there are series of parallel veins on the anterior surface of the heart they open into the right atrium directly they are called anterior cardiac veins there is right marginal vein runs to the right along the inferior margin of the heart it may join the small cardiac vein or drain directly into the right atrium in the manner of an anterior cardiac vein there are small veins in the walls of all four chambers they open directly into the respective chambers they are most frequent in the right atrium hope you got a brief idea about the coronary circulation we'll meet you again with another interesting topic don't forget to like share and subscribe to medirace wars hope to see you soon bye bye